Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Bugs and guys, Spectre Divine closed beta starts tomorrow. So this video is pretty much gonna be everything you need to know about Spectre Divine, what's Spectre Divine, how to play Spectre Divine, all the features in Spectre Divine, and me kind of just yapping a little bit because I kind of just wanted to yap for a long time. As you've been seeing, I've been doing kind of some scripted videos. I'm kind of getting over it. It's time to get back into the just the natural, just talking to y'all videos. And yeah, it's going to be a long, long video. Hopefully it's very informative and get y'all into the game. And let's get started. Spectre Divide was created by a company called Mountaintop that had a lot of veteran devs, some even coming from Riot Games. And some very noticeable investors that are on the team are Stroud, Tarek, It's Timmy, Zed, Carnage, Zarkul, and Paul George. Yeah, you heard me. Paul George, the basketball player. I don't know what he's doing over here, but yeah, he's here. But let's actually talk about the game now. So, Spectre Divine is a 3v3 competitive tactical shooter driven by duality, something that Mountaintop created, pretty much giving you one mind, two bodies, technically making a 6v6 game because in this game, you control two characters instead of one. And yes, it's still your classic tactical shooter, A, B, Sight, Defend, um, attack. There's many little twists that makes this completely different from Valorant and CSGO because I already seen the comments and everyone going off like, this is just a Valorant copy. This is just a Valorant clone. This game only comparison to Valorant and CSGO is being the same game mode as most tactical shooter, which is search and destroy. Other than that, every different every element of this game is nearly completely different from every tactical shooter. And we're going to get straight into details of Every um factor. Oh, before we actually get into the details, um, if you are interested into the Spectre Divide um closed beta, it will be happening tomorrow. Yes, August 13th, all the way to the 21st. Um, the way to get in is by going on Steam and requesting access. That is one way. Another way is by watching a Spectre Divide streamer, <laughs> like yours truly, um, for Twitch drops that can also give you access to the game and also have little extra drips drops like um cosmetics in the game. And finally, not to brag, but your boy might have some codes to give away on the stream personally, but you know, <laughs> but yeah, um, this play test is for PC only. So sorry for my console people. Um, when the game launches, it will be PC only and it will be keyboard and mouse and controller supported console. I'm pretty sure I could say this console will be coming into future. So it's not like, oh, it won't ever be on console. It will be on console just in the near future. I don't know when, but yeah, it will be on console in the future for the people that, you know, are console players. But yeah, let's get into it now. All right, Spectre Divine is a 3v3 game slash 6v6 game due to the fact that you control two characters. It is your classic search and destroy um, game mode. Every round is two minutes and it is first to eight rounds actually. So actually shorter than most of your um, tactical shooters. And what y'all call agents in most games, we call sponsors in this game. And pretty much what they are is powerful equipment sense provided by the sponsors to help you choose your play style. And the reason why I didn't say characters is because there are none. You actually have full customization of your character and you can make them look however you like. I actually have a full video kind of explaining all the sponsors in this game. So if you want to go check that out, here's the video right here. And if that's too long for you to watch, then I actually have shorter, short videos of um, sponsors kind of explain them on the quick and if you're even lazier for that then you could just pause the video as I'm showing y'all the sponsors right now and just go read the abilities yourself <laughs> the game modes they're gonna have is casual rank and customs uh, they also have a social tab called crew I don't know too much of it but all I know is like you're in a big group of 60 people and it's kind of like rank also because you kind of could build on your crew by just playing with each other and you get your, your ranking up or something it's a pretty cool thing before we get to any features of the game let's talk about the gunplay Spectre Divide gunplay is aim down sights gunplay that lets you shoot on the move with true crosshair accuracy guys y'all don't understand how happy I was to hear this and play with this man it was just amazing listen I love okay I think Valorant, mm, this, this one's gonna hurt a lot of people. I think Valorant is a cool, dope, competitive, like teamwork game. The only thing that I truly disliked about Valorant is one, ultimates. I feel like the ultimates are all just terrible in most games. And then two is the gunplay. I just don't enjoy the standstill shooting. Some of my people say that I have bad aim. No, I just didn't really enjoy it. I come from like Call of Duty and Fortnite where you, know, you kind of do track aiming. So that's what I'm more used to. So the fact that this is literally like quote unquote Valorant because of the same game mode. Um, double lives, um, you know, gunplay is about tracking aiming. It, it, oh, I just I just love it so much, man. And hopefully a lot of people do like it also. Um, you know, especially for, I think a lot of casual like it too, you know, instead of you have to do standstill shooting, it's really much just point and shoot type of aim. Still has recoil and stuff, so you have the control and all that stuff. Um, and for my Valorant CSGO players, yes, you can still, you know, tap shoot and all that stuff, um, but it's very, less um rewarding um it's definitely more like a one bullet type of thing and you know 
reset or you know aim down sight type of thing and spraying close range is pretty good all right and for the buy one this is probably the most coolest thing i've seen in a tactical shooter just because it's never been done but pretty much if you open up your map at the buy window you can pretty much place your character and your specter anywhere on the map you know behind your wall and i think it's just pretty dope for like last second decision making where you're like are oh, we're gonna go a and then your teammate's like no we're gonna be you can just swap over instantly with no hesitation i think that's awesome um for the actual buy window uh, you have your primary and your side um arms but then there's also another tab called quick where you can literally um give you suggested um loadouts when it comes to saves balance buy and all in buys and i think it's pretty dope for people that kind of don't understand how the buys work in this game because it is a little confusing when you first start off but over time you'll pick it up really quickly and it's just another way to get like your loadout um done instantly without having to go click on everything so when it comes to actually buying weapons in the game, you do have to buy weapons in pairs. So if you want a sidearm for one character, you have to buy for the other. Same thing with primaries. Um, if you do have a situation where you know only one of your specters do survive in a round and goes to the next round, they do carry whatever weapon they're holding into the next round. But again, if you want your secondary character to have a weapon, you're going to have to buy the other half back and just the other half. You don't have to buy both of the weapons at full price. It will just be the... Uh, weapon that is missing uh, same goes for buying for your teammates you can actually go half and half on um, purchasing a weapon because you know there's two so you actually buy one half whether it's a cheaper one or an expensive one and your teammate could you know purchase the other one or you can have both your teammates actually go half on half on your buys if you're that broke there is actually no weapon dropping in the game currently hopefully they add that into a feature i kind of got why they probably didn't add it because of how the equal system will work and stuff but you can pick up weapons from the ground so for example um there's a weapon called blackout if one of my characters have it and i see another one on the ground i actually can pick it up and have both of them all my characters going into the next round the game will still say hey you need to buy a weapon for your second character because it technically thinks that you only have one but theoretically you have two weapons just the same type of weapon um but you also can throw that weapon into the team inventory for your teammate um, and how that works is that, as you see in the top left of the screen, that there is a team inventory. Let's say you had two weapons going into a round and now you can purchase a better weapon. You can actually throw the weapons that you don't want in the team inventory and your teammates can either, you know, have that one weapon that you threw in and buy the other half so it's a cheaper buy for them. Or if you have both of the weapons, they actually get the weapons for free. And that's kind of the way how you can cycle weapons through it. But right now, there is technically no way for you to just drop weapons in the game. And when the round starts, there's actually three map features that happens in the game, which is one being Reveal Wall, two being only where Spectre's gonna go, and three being a fast recall zone. So Reveal Walls is pretty much something that was implemented so that defenders cannot flank right away for the first 40 seconds. And y'all probably saying, damn, what the hell? Why is that? Uh, you do gotta remember that you are playing a 3v3 game with secondary lives, so it just will make it too easy for the defenders just to flank one of your, you know, one of your sides and just come and kill your AFK body. So it kind of gives you prep time as an attacker to kind of position where you want your characters in and hopefully be able to be attacking within the 30 seconds. But after the 40 seconds, all is fair game. Um, the second thing is only where Spectres could go. There's actually some locations where only your Spectres could go, as in you have to throw your puck for your Spectre to spawn up there. Not spawn up there, but, you know, be teleported there and use, and kind of some quick shortcuts and gateways where you could go through gates and stuff and not only that this isn't the same thing but you can throw your specters over obstacles like walls and buildings if there's enough space for it um, and finally it's fast recall zones right now this is only on skyway but there's these green um like patterns on the ground where it allows your specter to kind of teleport there faster than regularly throwing it um from a distance oh before we get into our last topic wall banging in this game um if you see a blue container you can shoot through it wood you could shoot through it and other small various things you could shoot through it especially with a sniper um it's all different um i actually do not know everything by heart but i knew 100 that blue containers and wood on walls are 100 shootable all right and the final topic is specters and what can you do with them in actual games i'm gonna go with the basic um you can reload and switch to your other character and they will continue to reload you can also have your character jump into an animation like into a corner or something so you know if you know they're gonna properly get into the corner you want to switch to your other character right away they will follow through with that animation and you know stay in place after that obviously you can't have them continue walking when you switch over they'll just stay in place um the second thing we have is abilities um some characters abilities are better than others so for example you have someone like umbra that literally um you're able to hold like one of your abilities which is a pulse finder that can literally watch your flank or watch your lane and it'll pretty much tell you hey there's an enemy here um you have someone like pinnacle that literally gives you a stem boost that can give you like heat not heat vision but you know you can pretty much see characters red and, and like better vision than others and you also have no weapon um reduced speed no matter what weapon you're holding in your hand and you have 
it's still usable and reliable abilities, but just, I guess, on the weaker side, which will be like Pinnacle's Flash or Muse Flash, where you literally can throw it and instantly switch to your other character um, if you have a better angle with that character, if you flash properly and stuff like that. So you can pretty much do animations and switch over to your next character to help your own self out. And then the final thing is the fusing and planting. Yeah, if you didn't know, you can literally diffuse and plant with your character and then swap over to your other character and they will continue to fuse and plant. So technically you can literally watch yourself plant and diffuse, which I think is amazing and can't wait to see all the fakes and all these other stuff that people are gonna be able to pull off their asses because of that stuff. It's it's gonna it's gonna be dope. Um and yeah, I think that's everything that you need to know about Spectre Divide. Now, obviously, there is so much more I could go over and do this and give you tips and tricks on that and over that and that. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about just giving you like the nice, generic, kind of basic and some things that you probably wouldn't pick up right away to kind of give you an idea of it now. So now when you jump into the game tomorrow, which is the closed beta, um, you kind of have a better idea of how to play the game. But leave a like if you like the video, comment for anything. You know, I love y'all comments. Comment down what you want me to answer. If there's any ideas or not ideas, any um, questions you truly do have, I'll gladly answer you down below. And if you do enjoy Spectre Divine videos, then hit the subscribe button, guys. And I'm out. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find out.